primitive western area, but not far from a large city, is Mount Vulcan, in ages past an active volcano. Its rugged slopes unfit for human use, pitted by numberless caves, an eerie haunted region by night, a mysterious forbidding area by day. Uninhabited except for one small cabin whose interior only one man has ever seen. A strange, furtive man who vanishes mysteriously at the approach of strangers, known only as the Hermit of Mount Vulcan. Have you completed these power units, Jarva? Yes, Dr. Groot. Grekov requested by Astro Radio that we send them to him immediately. Why is he in such a hurry? Is anything wrong on the planet? He didn't say, sir. Then I'll ask him. Dr. Groot on Earth, calling Rekov on the planet Ergro. on the planet Ergro. Is there any trouble up there? Not much, sir. Professor Dorn has somehow counteracted the effect of your hypnotic ray. He refused to cooperate. He must be kept under control. I'll send the power units at once so that you can reactivate the ray. Is there anything else? Yes, sir. I need more manpower to help mine the cosmonium. Perhaps some volunteers will present themselves. If so, I'll send them along. I can use them, sir. Have you any of the refined ore on hand? A small supply. Professor Dorn extracted it while he was under control. Send it back in the Cosmo jet. I'll use it to make more power units. Yes, sir. Is that all? That is all. Take these power units to the Cosmo jet. Yes, sir. Now we will give the world something to look at so that it will not see our Cosmojet leave. The flying saucers? Yes. You release them while I activate the radar electroscope. Then we can follow their flight.
resembling flying saucers have appeared in the sky over various parts of the country. They seem to be heading in a general pattern toward the nation's capital. Unusual excitement, almost amounting to panic, has been caused in some sections. The Air Force has been alerted with orders to shoot down the flying object. All authorities have been warned in a nationwide alert. Destroy the saucers before the planes can run them down. Prepare to launch the Cosmo jet. Blast off. Increase to maximum velocity. Course 270. with a cosmonium ray. What would the world say if it knew the properties of my secret metal? Its power to enslave minds, to make things invisible. They would never believe it. I had their chance and they didn't believe it. When they learn, it'll be too late. Beam the ray from the stellarscope onto Ergro. Cut off the cosmonium ray. The Cosmo jet has landed safely on Ergro. here on the desk. Put Professor Dorn in the hypnotic ray cabinet. your work at the electronic furnace. Take this capsule of cosmonium to the Cosmojet to be sent to Earth. Jet has left Ergro on its return trip. Activate the radar control.
Prepare to black it out with a cosmonium ray. Now! It's not vanishing. There's something wrong with the controls. It's off its course. It's going to crash. Perhaps Professor Dorn has done something to it. If he has, he'll suffer for it. There's no chance. It's going to crash on the mountainside. Car 1, Rex and Kim. Go ahead, recorder. Have report that saucer or guided missile has crashed on the north side of Mount Vulcan. Cover it. Right. Another false alarm like the last time. Probably a weather photo. Maybe not. If it's really something, I'd like to be the first to find it. We must destroy the wreckage before anybody finds it. Use the reactor. It might pick up the cosmonium rays. Reyes. There's the pretty girl we saw at the roadblock. She's dodged the sheriff. What do you suppose she's up to? We've got something else to worry about. Finding a hunk of that saucer, a rocket, whatever it was. There's something. Yeah. I've located it. Stand by the thermic disintegrator. Now! Don't touch it. Maybe radioactive. Mm -hmm. Did we see it or didn't we? It was more than radioactive. It was haunted. Let's look around. What for? I've seen enough. Or have I? I regret losing the cosmonium, but it's better than having my secret revealed to the world. There are two men snooping about the place where the missile fell. Frighten them off. Well, Doctor, will that be wise? Do as I order! Here's a piece of the bomb that chased you. You can have it. I'm going to find my camera. I'm 
going to see where that thing came from. Then you're going alone. I'm through. for somebody or something? Maybe. So are we. We found something, but it disappeared like that. What was it? I don't know. Hey, Tim, come here. That's Rex. Maybe he found something. I might have known. She found me, honest. I'm Rex Barrow, the recorder. I'm Tim Johnson, photographer. My name is Dorn, Ella Dorn. Dorn? The name's familiar. You probably remember my father, Professor Dorn. He disappeared last year, right here on Mount Vulcan. Something came out of here we were going to investigate. Do you mind if I join you? Mine? I'll go first. They wouldn't heed my warning. Now they have a girl with them. They're in cave 13. You are hoping to find some volunteers. An excellent job. Heat up the hypnotic ray. Nothing in here but us. Your father specialized in electronics, didn't he? He was interested in space projectiles, too. What's that? Come here willingly. Nothing that happens to you can be my responsibility. I will send you as volunteer workers to my planet Ergro. The new metal I have discovered there can make it an armed fortress. The entire universe will be at my mercy. Jarvis, place another Cosmo jet on the launcher. Yes, sir. Now I will prepare you for your journey into space. Follow me. Go in. Take off your hat.
on the way. Block it out. Yes, sir. Another missile is on its way from Earth. You will guide it in. Where is Alden, your assistant? I don't know. Guide the missile in. Follow me. Professor Dawn, this is Alden. Can you understand me? A mad tyrant is sending another missile from Earth. You told me to warn you. Another missile is approaching. I've kept free of the hypnotic ray with this, you're to hypnotize him. You planned to destroy the next one and has arrived. Do you remember? Yes. Yes, we must save the world from this maniac, the great Dr. Groot. Locate the missile on the stelescope. Another missile is about to land. I will tolerate no demonstration from you planet people this time. Take this as a warning. You, 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 come with me. on its usable course, approaching at a speed of 2,000. We'll wreck Groot's line of communication, then free this planet he's seized. The missile is off its course. Going to crash! That missile is going to crash! Go to your quarters! Ah! Professor Dorn discover that he sent his own daughter to destruction? Will he continue to be a helpless prisoner on Groot planet? Don't miss Trapped by the Axial Propeller, the second thrilling chapter of The Lost Planet, at this theater next week.